hello and welcome to this excel video tutorial in this tutorial i'm going to show us how to interactively filter multiple pivot table reports and pivot charts using a single timeline so let's get started now based on our sample data set i created two pivot table reports now the first pivot table report displays the sum of total by customer type and the second is sum of total by account manager now based on the first pivot table report created i also created this column chart which is total sales by customer type and based on the second pivot table report i have this column chart for total sales by account manager now what i'm going to do is to proceed to insert the timeline which is accessible under the pivot table analyze contextual ribbon tab and i can actually create the or insert the slicer from any of these two pivot table reports and let's do it from the topmost that is the total sales by customer type so i click on this pivot table analyze tab and then under the filters group i have this insert timeline now basically the timeline works with a data that has date value okay now my source data contains other dates field so i'm going to create it from the other dates i can even create it from the ship date that's fine but let's create it from the other date so i check this box and click ok and then i have the timeline inserted now basically timeline allows you to filter all periods for instance you can filter months you can filter years you can filter quarters or even days but for simplicity's sake, I'm going to filter by years and then we can see the year 2013 to 2017 that we have in the data set. Now, because the timeline is inserted from the first pivot table report, when I go ahead and filter or slice the report, you can see the pivot table report one and the pivot chart responded interactively. Which makes sense now let's do let's say um 2014 i filter can you see everything update this update and let's do 2013 can you see it's update and the chart was updated now this does not in any way update the second pivot report and the second pivot chart okay now what i'm going to do is to create connection to this second pivot table report now by the way this is my pivot table one and this is my pivot table number two so i'm going to come to click on the um timeline and then i can access the timeline contextual ribbon tab i click on that and then i can see the report connections which allows me to manage multiple pivot table reports and connect one to another so i click on report connections and then i can access all the pivot table reports within these um, sheets now this is my pivot table number two so i'm going to check this box which is very important uh, before i do that let me just clear the filter i applied here okay so let's come back here and click on timeline and then i want to report connections then i check this pivot table number two and then i click okay now the p two pivot table report are now connected which are also connected to the two pivot charts now when i go ahead and um, slice let's say i want to view for 2016 can you see what happens the two pivot table responded and of course the two pivot charts interactively responded and that's amazing now you can even filter for um many years period and let's say we are doing 2013 to 2016 can you see everything updates the first pivot table the second pivot table and then the two pivot charts so you can even play around and let's say you want to filter by quarters then we can see quarters for each of the year let's say you want to filter in a quarter one of 2014 so when i click on this you can see both pivotable responded we can see the total sales by customer type for the consumer is 3881 and the sum of total for abila david account manager is 241 and of course you can see the displays on the um, pivot charts so this is basically how we can use the slicer to filter multiple pivotable and pivot charts in excel I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, you can like, comment, share, and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you and bye for now. Cheers.